Hey everyone, it's Tara. Welcome back. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Bellavina Mini Gel Tip Kit by Double Dip Nails. All the details and everything about this kit will be on the description box below. I do have a 10% off code for them. That's going to be in the description box below as well. So this kit was sent to me for a review and I'm just going to be unboxing everything right now. So I'll just be showing you everything that was sent. So starting out is the actual gel tip kit itself. It came with the actual four in one base coat gel. It's a really thick gel and it's supposed to be used for four different things. One of them I think is to actually glue on the gel tips. Another one is to use as a base gel for your actual nails. And then it's supposed to be used to glue on these actual rhinestones that it comes with and uh, a couple other things I can't remember right now. And then it came with a bunch, it came with 10 different size or nine or 10 different size tips. And then it came with the UV lamp. And this little lamp is so cute and convenient because you are able to do one nail at a time instead of trying to hold the nail tip down onto your nail. And you know, you can't put both of your hands in the right position up under your, your normal size gel lamp. So this is really convenient to use. And, and then it comes with three, different little LED lights up under it and it has it comes with a, with a little cord of course it doesn't come with the big old plug but you know we already got a bunch of them so it's not a big deal and then I'm going to be laying out all the different sizes right here for you And also I'm sure you've noticed I have kind of unusually shaped nail beds. So for me, it's really important to make sure that the zero fits first thing out of anything. And this one, the zero does fit. A lot of times with some uh, press on nail sets, the zero is too small for my nails. So the zero fits, so we're go. And on my left and right hands, my thumbnails are not the same exact size on my right hand. My thumb is wider than my left hand. And then um, as you can see, my since my nails are so wide, my uh, pointer finger, which on some people is like a six or seven, <laughs> mine usually is a four. So these are pretty true to size. The four does fit my pointer finger. So we're good there. All the sizes are pretty true to size, good to go. So um, I'm just gonna go ahead and get my sizes out after this. And they also sent me separately three different gel polishes to try. The um, gel tip kit doesn't come with gel polishes or you know any regular polish. That is up to you to purchase separately. So to you know complete my review, they actually did send me three colors to try. So I chose a yellow one and a goldish brown one and then a purple one. And these gel these gel kits are actually so crazy because they come with a regular nail polish, uh, like a, a nail lacquer it's called, so that you can use it on your toes or I guess if you, you know, do nails professionally in a salon type of setting. Some people may not, you know, in their budget, they may not want to use gel polish or even like on your toes. For some people, they say that gel polish doesn't stick to their toes the same, so they use regular polish. And so these polishes on the website are called gel match. So I'm just going to be swatching two coats of each and you'll on some of them, the gel and the regular polish aren't the exact same shade, but it's not a big deal because you know, they're, they're close enough, right? But they're not exactly gel and nail polish. So they're, it, it's not possible for them to be exactly the same, but the the gel is so it's just such a like a nice quality it's so smooth and it just like it's it levels itself out a lot of companies are starting to do this really really thick gel polish now and it was really nice to use one that was such a high quality and it 
it was so smooth it just glides on like butter so it was really really nice to use and all all three of them are just like that it was so nice so i'm just gonna go ahead and finish swatching all of them and then at the very end you'll see the final look of all of them after they all have two coats on So now that I have all of my tips picked out, I'm gonna go ahead and buff the inside of the nail, just to lightly buff it. It doesn't say you have to do this, but I do anyways, just to make sure that my base coat adheres really well into it. And I mean, you really don't have to because the tips are already made of gel, so they should have no issue adhering to the base gel, but it's just you know common practice now to do this. So I'm just gonna be showing you how to do that with an e-file 
but again, you don't have to. You could also use a lint-free wipe and some acetone to do this on some of the smaller nails that you can't get your e-file into. And right here, I'm just making sure that I went down far enough to where my actual nail bed stops because that's where I wanna make sure I have a full adhesion. And then really quickly is an extra step I like to do to make sure my nails don't look like actual press-on nails. My nail beds, like the shape of them, are really curved. So I just take a nail file and I just kind of round the, the top edges of the, the press-on nail just ever so slightly so they're not so square up at the edge. And I just check to make sure that they're really rounded. I mean, you always still want to customize your nail tips a little bit so that they don't look like press on nails. I see sometimes in pictures and things, people just, you know, think the, that the nail is perfectly shaped right out of the box. You do still need to customize it a little bit and also shave off that little tip at the edge. You know, I, I see that a lot too. People just polish that and, but you know, it's important to customize the entire nail just so that it, it looks, you know, professional. So anyways, just taking a very thin layer of that 4-in-1 base gel and I'm going to apply it to all of the nails and do a full cure for 60 seconds. Once my nails are cured, I'm going to take a little amount of the base gel and I'm going to put it inside of the actual nail tip you will kind of have to gauge how much you will need to put depending on the size of your nail bed. Since I do have really long nail beds, I'm gonna put a little bit more than you might need to put if you have normal size human nail beds. So um, just from my personal experience, I'm putting a little bit more. Okay, so I'm turning the lamp on. I already did test out this lamp. It stays pre-lit for one minute, 60 seconds. And I'm just going to push the nail tip down and try to get out as many air bubbles as I can. It's hard for me to get out all the nail bubbles because as you can see, my nail tips are so curved. My natural nail beds are so curved, but just flatten it out as much as you can. And you won't have the same issues as me because you have normal human nail beds. You don't have round nail beds like me. Hopefully you don't. So just pop that under there for one minute. And then this is how it looks afterwards. You know, hopefully you don't have this gap of air at the tip like I do. And then I'm just going to be showing you an example of one more nail. So just put as much gel in there as you think you might need. And then press the nail tip onto your nail, starting back at the cuticle area and try to push it down to the tip as far as you can and hopefully you you want it to look like that where there's no air bubbles and set it under the lamp and here's how it looks once they're all applied and that literally took me like 20 minutes <laughs> no kidding that was like like 20 minutes so since i did have a little bit of gel spill out on the sides which is completely normal if that happens to you it doesn't mean you failed you just want to take a lint-free wipe and some alcohol and just wipe it off because that gel that came out is going to be a little bit sticky. Then you can take a hand file and file that area that came, that gel that came out. You want to just file it down all around the sides, everywhere it came out. Or you can use an e-file, which is what I'm going to continue to do if you're comfortable with it or, you know, if you have one.
Once you're finished with that, you can take a buffing block and just buff the entire surface of the nails. I'm going to be doing this because I want my gel polish to stick without any issues. Please do not skip this step because if you do, your gel polish will just peel off the very next day like the little kids peel off polish and you do not want that to happen. Now on four of my nails, I'm going to be applying two coats of the brown color and on one of my nails, I'm going to be applying three coats of the yellow color just because I didn't smooth out my nails very good since I used that buffing block. I should have uh, went in with a very smooth one afterwards, but I didn't. So I'm using three coats of the yellow to make it really smooth. And here's what everything is looking like after I've apl applied three coats of that yellow and then two coats of the brown. You could be done here. All you would have to do is just shape up the nails a little bit because again, you after you polish, you do need to do some buffing on the sides and the tips of the nail that you're not done yet and then apply your top coat. But I'm gonna be applying some base, the four in one base coat says you can use it to apply these rhinestones. So I'm gonna be applying a coat of that to the yellow nail and then I'm going to apply some of the rhinestones. So right now what I'm doing is just pouring a bunch out. There's a bunch of different sizes in here, which is really nice. So I'm just gonna pour a bunch out and I had no idea what I was gonna do. So I just, you know, kind of freestyled and put together this kind of like necklace thing on the nail. So I just started that and then you'll see what it looks like when it's done.
So here I'm applying a pretty decent amount of the base gel so that I can have enough room to put down the rhinestones and that, that way the uh, flat backs of them have room to sit down in a cushion of the gel and adhere so that that way they don't move. And then once I had everything placed where I wanted it, I just put it in the lamp for one minute. And so here's the final look and I absolutely love this kit and I really hope you guys will try it out. Let me know down in the comments and I will see you in the next one.